Uh, we're the world um, leading um, independent uh, producer and distributor for kids content. Uh, we have uh, more than 500 titles, 14,000 half hours of content, going from toddlers to uh, teenagers um, with Teletubbies like for toddlers and then Degrassi for uh, teenagers. So it's uh, all the spectrum for kids and family content basically. Yeah, we're very happy. I mean, it's the first time for us and uh, we think it's important to attend this market in Dubai because it's such a hub for, for all the media industry in the Middle East in general. So it's, uh, no, it's a great opportunity and uh, it's, been, it's been a busy market, which is always good. So no, happy to be here, definitely. Uh, we just closed uh, Mega Man, for example, that is uh, based on a video game that has been quite popular in the Middle East and other regions in the world. But uh, so it will be with NBC3 in the Middle East. Uh, we've done uh, Polly Pocket also with uh, Cartoon Network, and uh, it will be in the Middle East as well, uh, available very soon, if not now, actually. Um, and we're always like producing new content. So coming, um, there will be a new strawberry shortcake coming in 2020. Um, yeah, we've got some um, Inspector Gadget also. We've got so many, so many shows actually. We've got a lot of shows that are dubbed in Arabic as well, and so we can reach um, the big, uh, big players. But we can also um, have some content available for smaller local channels looking for free TV exclusive or non-exclusive rights so it's yeah quite a lot we're well known by the very big established uh, channels because we've been working extensively in the region for about I think eight years really, um, but uh, as regards to more local channels that we reach at this market, it's uh, it's very interesting to let them know about who we are, what we do, because uh, they're not necessarily aware of DHX Media, and uh, that's a that's a good point for us, um, start point for us. I think that kids' content is uh, is always uh, required, and in, in Middle East uh, very much too. Um, I mean, there are lots of kids, and uh, so you need you need to get content for them. Um, it's just that maybe some some more local channels were um, having just the smaller kids slot, and this is expanding. So the trend is is yeah, is to get more content, more kids content, I guess. We depend on the channels having uh, bigger blocks for sure, and then uh, and then it's really good for local channels to for us to have um, to have the Arabic dubs in house um, because some of them don't have the uh, necessarily the budget or the facility for uh, for dubbing. Um, but then you know we have some big brands. Uh, we we have some Mattel brands. We have the Teletubbies. We have some nostalgia kind of titles like Inspector Gadget. So um, having this kind of shows help for sure to uh, just. Uh, have an established kind of name, uh, but then, um, then I mean, it's all about the content. Like, if you get something entertaining, so educational, but also entertaining, it's it's uh, it's a big plus and it helps. So the MENA region is an important uh, territory for us. Uh, there are many opportunities here, and it's uh, developing. And uh, and um, well, I mean, there are on the linear side, but also on the VOD side, um, there are, there's some room for more, for sure, but uh, it's, it's a territory to explore. It takes, uh, it takes also a little time, like you need to dig, uh, like the main channels and, and platforms are very easy to reach, but then there are so many others, so I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a land of many possibilities, basically.